I hope you have had such a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I am so excited because this week's Small Business Saturdays is coming live to you from London. I am so happy to be here and I really thought it would be so wonderful to be able to share some of the incredible small businesses in the UK. And um, honestly, I have just been so overwhelmed with the incredible, incredible businesses. They're phenomenal and so many different types of things. It's been so wonderful to read so much about the businesses and just understand um, where their passion comes from to create. So I'm actually going to spread it over two weeks just because there are so many of them and I think it'll be really lovely to give them the attention that they deserve. I really forgot to do my theme tune. It hasn't been done for a while so we're going to have to do it. Get ready. I asked my mum to do this with me. She said no. I, didn't. I looked at my dad and he said, so it's all on me. Saturday. Sing it mum. Celebrate. She's dancing. Can you hear? Click. Dad, click. Saturday. <laughs> Celebrate. They're hiding, but they're really excited right now. So I'm going to start off with this beautiful choker. Um, and it's not just special because it's beautiful. It's special because it's actually from one of my best friends in the entire world's brand called Kastuba Jewels. And she has been running this business for a really long time. She started it from scratch just because she absolutely loves jewelry and also loves bringing joy to brides on their wedding day. And um, to me on an average Saturday when I can sit here wearing my sweatshirt and a beautiful necklace that looks like this. So she's shown me these. And I actually wore her um, set on my wedding day. I had this beautiful green outfit and she gave me, I actually went to her um, the night before my wedding and I was like, oh my goodness, I don't have a set for my wedding yet. I completely forgot. And she honestly just whipped out the most beautiful sets to choose from. And so I was wearing it for my actual wedding outfit. I wore her necklace and her earrings and a tikka and it was just so lovely. So um, I have a very, very special bond with this brand um, for many, many reasons. So this is one of them. This is a Kundan set. And what I love is that she kind of makes it feel very traditional, but still very modern. Uh, there's so many different types of jewelry she does from sets like these to these beautiful earrings. I think it would be a bit too much if I put that on on Saturday, but um, they are so wonderful and I can't wait to wear them. And I really do think a lot of jewelry like this can be so lovely with Western outfits and then adding a little bit of bling to it with some Indian festive jewelry. So um, please go and check her out. Her name is Kastuba Jewels. She's been doing it all by herself this whole time and she's just done such a phenomenal job at all the designs that she's done. And she's also one of my best friends, so go check her out. Next up, we have this incredible top I'm wearing that says kind heart, fierce mind and brave spirit. So this is by a brand called Keep It Bright. It's all clothing that's inspiring, motivating and empowering. So she has really wonderful quotes or simple words, just like powerful, like this t-shirt has. Um, and I actually really love wearing clothing that has motivational messages on it. I honestly find that it really lifts my mood up or gives me a reminder of something that I need during the day. So I have quite a few tops that have lovely things, just like be kind or love or anything. But I really think that it makes such a difference having clothing that are inspiring too. So um, go and check her out. I actually really love this color too. And she's got so many different words, so many different colors also. And then she also sent these stickers, which I'm guessing they're meant to go onto books. However... I think I can put it on my top too. So, Radiate Love and the name is um, Keep It Bright. It says that the business has been going on since 2007. So she has been keeping it going for a really long time, which means it must be great quality and wonderful product too. I also want to tell you that her name is Zara. It's always nice knowing the names behind the brand. So this is Zara and it is Keep It Bright and Wonderful. Thank you so much for sending it. I really love it. I'm going to be wearing it all the time. I think it's time to take a bit of a food break. And um, so I want to introduce you to my absolute favorite yogurt brand in the whole entire world. I go to America and I'm constantly craving it and I am always messaging them like, please, when are you going to come to the US? The reason I love them so much, wait, let me show you who they are, Nish. The brand is called Nish and um, they're available in the UK 
and honestly they're just incredible because one the flavor is amazing this is vegan and it is um it's got no sugars it's just sweetened by natural fruit which is what i really appreciate because i don't particularly like having added sugars um where it's unnecessary and so it's actually made with such simple ingredients almonds or sometimes cashews with some of their other yogurts um blueberry puree for the fruit part and then just a little bit of thickener with tapioca starch and live vegan cultures too so it's cultured yogurt so oh my goodness i could literally eat a pot of this within the next 10 minutes i won't show you but i can um so we've got blueberry there's strawberry there's raspberry there is also peach melba which oh my goodness i have as a dessert phenomenal and my ultimate favorite dessert indulgence caramel hibiscus ah oh, this little gem going on here and on top of all of that they also do a plain yogurt and on top of all of that they do cheeses soft cheeses so this is almond milk natural and they also have a chai of one too so these are my favorite you have to try them but trust me you will not be disappointed they are absolutely phenomenal goodness in a nutshell i would have to absolutely agree next up we have an incredible ayurveda inspired skincare brand and skin and body actually um sorry skin is body face and body skincare brand that's it there, so I'm lucky. Um, so this is wonderful because I've just been reading so much about them. And um, what's really, really cool is that they have made specific products for specific doshas. So one second, Alexa has something to say. Thanks, Alexa. Okay, so like I was saying, um, Urban Veda is their name and yeah what's really cool is that they do specific products for your specific dosha and what's helpful is that they've given a really great um, a test that you can do to figure out which one you are and I think that that's on their website too so before you purchase the products you can know which one would be best for you. So they have kind of different packages for the different doshas. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed using them. And so has my mom, I'll tell you. She got to them before I did. Um, and she's been using their creams, but there's so many. Let me show you um, some of these products. So you have night creams, body lotions, um, facial washes, facial oils, soothing body scrubs, soothing day cream, and um, this. So this is for pitta skin and um, it's to help you with any excess heat in the body, any sensitivity. And so it really helps soothe specifically pitta skin. And I really love the scent of all of them as well. They smell so lovely, all essential oil based and just wonderful. Let me just show you this because it shows you all the different products. They've got purifying, um, oil prone, radiance. Um, so particularly for radiant skin, uh, soothing reviving and so much more so absolutely go and check them out i always always am such an advocate for natural skin care there are so many brands out there that put a lot of things that shouldn't be used on the skin into their products but with a lot of these wonderful ayurveda brands they have such minimal ingredients and just have such wonderful things like prunes and licorice and they smell so wonderful because they've got fruit and essential oil extracts rather than perfumes that shouldn't be used on the skin. So Urban Veda is their name. Go and check them out. Next up, I have a ceramics brand. Now, I love going to ceramic stores to get my little bits for my food photography. And these are just, the reason I like it is because they feel so rustic. Each one is so individual. And um, this brand is called Lisa Yazdabari. I hope I said that right. Ceramics. So I just wanted to read this to you because I really, really do love hearing how businesses started. And she said that she set up um, her ceramics business in lockdown. She said it's always been a dream of hers to, um, after losing her job for a local charity in March, she decided to get serious about her pottery. She said she juggles her ceramic business while being a mom to three young children. And she finds it a very meditative process. So um, I, she said all my pieces are made in my small studio at home and I hope you do enjoy them. I absolutely love them. Let me show them to you. Like, how lovely is this? 
get yourself a little set of four of these and have a little tea time. And this beautiful bowl. So she not only does um, the pottery where it's kind of rustic, but she also does the paint on top of it. I hope I've explained it right. I'm not an expert in this, but she's got a beautiful bowl. And I feel like this could be used to serve food, but as well, I feel like this would be beautiful in a bedroom to put some of your little um, trinkety stuff in there, your rings or your jewelry. So she's got so much more. I checked out her Instagram and honestly, the products are so beautiful. And also so much more special giving somebody something like this than maybe something from a larger business because it's so unique and so beautiful. So thank you so much, Lisa. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm going to enjoy a cup of tea in this later. Next up, we have a brand called Mia Handmade Collections. Now they do crystals and they specialize in crystals and semi-precious stones, promoting positive energy for mind, body and soul. They said every piece has a tale to tell and the story continues with you. I love that. And um, so they create bespoke pieces made from semi-precious stones or crystals. And they have been so sweet. They sent us, um, me and Jay, matching rose quartz um, coasters. I love rose quartz so much. And um, this is just beautiful. I was actually in need of some coasters. And now we have personalized ones so he can't steal mine. Thank you so much. I really love them. And they also sent this wonderful... Uh, necklace let me show you the necklace and look at the packaging it's really sweet really lovely they said oh sorry a bracelet it looks like this next up this is such a wonderful brand they are called dame and um they have a reusable tampon applicator now it says that each one of these saves thousands of pieces of plastic and so it's really, really a sustainable, um, really thinking about the environment when also trying to keep comfort in mind for fe feminine hygiene. And it says it's designed to be easy and hygienic. You simply have to wash it and you can reuse this applicator over and over again. And they sent amazing organic um, tampons as well. So they have organic, clean, um, much better for you to be using than a lot of the tampons which also have scents and fragrances that really shouldn't be used. And so really simple but really really wonderful and i'm sure people will really benefit from having this so dame thank you so much for sending this and for thinking of the environment and using cellulose wrappers and biodegradable um ingredients so that it does not affect the planet in a negative way so thank you so much i was so excited when i saw these because i actually use these type of plates and bowls and cutlery whenever i have events in la and I'm gonna read you what he said. Um, he said that he actually created his startup called Palm Life in October 2018 with the goal to replace as many single-use plastic products as possible. He said they started to trade at the end of 2019, but unfortunately because of COVID and the economy at the moment, he says that he's had to cut down the amount of products that he's now serving people. And he has five main products, which are these. Large plates, um, kind of smaller plates, but also they're very deep, which is wonderful. These little sweet bowls, which I usually, when I have events, will use for starters or maybe little desserts. And uh, these bowls too, which can be nice for soup or, um, again, starters. So there are so many different sizes that you can have. And I really recommend thinking about buying these when you have events because um, the amount of plastic that gets wasted through plastic plates and plastic forks and plastic knives, they may be a little bit more expensive than plastic, but they're definitely worth it um, to help the environment and to not contribute to the wastage that goes on with it. So every change that you make can make a difference. And so changing to these plates would be wonderful. And on top of that, let me tell you how they're made. He says that they are made from, and this is in bold, fallen leaves, uh, fallen palm leaves, and the products are pure leaves that have only been heated and pressed into different shapes and sizes. So um, yeah, I think it's just wonderful. They're, they're so natural. I also think that they just add a lot of character whenever you're having an event. I think they're so much cooler than using plastic plates. So definitely go and check them out. Thank you so much for sharing your story as well, Palm Life. And I really wish you the best for this year with your business. I'm sure it'll be really, really successful. And that is it for this week. 
Um, thank you all so much for sending through your products. I really do appreciate it. And I really enjoy reading all your stories of how your businesses started up. I think it takes so much courage uh, to take that leap into creating your own business. And um, I think it's so wonderful that you've all done this in so many different ways and shown your creativity and your passions in so many different ways too. So um, thank you again so much. And I really look forward to sharing all the other ones next week. Hope you all have such a wonderful weekend and sending you all so much love.